Hello and welcome to Yao Guai Gaming, where today we are building an early game horde base. So this is my personal design and what I use in my games. So we're going to go up. So the first thing we're going to do is build the platform on which the player will be standing. So it's a three by three solid platform. Okay, and it's solid because well. There's literally no point in having a one block hole in the middle. Uh, you can't do anything with it. But you can fill it up, and that makes the tower just a little bit stronger. And we're going to upgrade all the exterior to proper wood. Okay, now that we've got a big wooden square, we're going to go out three blocks with the pole centered block. So it's going to go one, two, three. Then out one more and up one. And then out another one, two, three. Now you're going to be struggling here. You won't be able to put this last block down, but that's fine. This is where we're now going to build the staircase. So one, two, three, and four. So this is the start of the staircase and we're going to build the rest now. Okay, so that's the staircase built. This is where they're going to get up. And then now we are going to use bars. So we change our wooden block to a bar. And these are going to defend the player where you will be fighting. So this, these bars mean you can shoot through. Um, you got three, full 360 degrees of vision. It's just much more useful than blocks with absolutely no downside because if you let me upgrade one we can have a look so a block has 500 health 500 health and the bars have 500 health so they're exactly the same in terms of strength so there's just no downside to using these bars now other than for aesthetic reasons if you're constructing something where you don't want to look like you're in a prison so we're just going to put the roof on and then we'll get back to it. Okay, so that is the cage built. And the next thing we're going to want to do is grab some cobble. And we're going to upgrade the bottom two. All we're going to upgrade of this tower, it's all we need to upgrade from this tower. And once we've upgraded the bottom two, we're going to just upgrade the uh, primary sort of staircases of this one. You could do the whole thing, but this is just me trying to be economical. Next is cladding. So these bars are going to go on the outside of the tower. As we've just seen, they give as much health as a regular block. So doing this basically doubles the um, health of these blocks. And there we go. So we've got a concrete block and then a concrete frame. We've got a solid wooden tower and our wooden cage on top. And we've got our bridge across where the zombies are going to come. We're going to upgrade this one as well because sometimes it gets shot or whacked and we don't want that. And then these last few bars we've got, what we're going to do is just put them along here. Just in case anything comes along and wax it, you know, why not? Then for fluff, 
basically, sort of fluff. We need a door. We need a hatch. And we need two ladders. And then we actually need one of those frames. So we'll just, ooh, we just went through the floor. We'll just grab this one. And so this is a really important frame. This is pole double. And pole double goes here. And hatch goes here. And pole double stops them crawling through this gap. Because I don't know if you've noticed, but zombies can now get through one block sized gaps. They can crawl through it. So we just upgrade the door and we'll put our ladders here and here. And that's it. That is absolutely it. It takes 1,700 wood and around 500 cobblestone. If you really went for it, you could get this done by the end of day one. If you didn't go for it, you could 100% get it done. Day two, three, four, five, six. I mean, you could have the whole thing made of cobblestone by day seven if you really wanted. This will survive a horde attack early on, and I am going to prove it to you. So let's get some basic weapons. We're going to get a, I think level four is a bit much. Level three, we'll go for level three. So we're going to get a couple of them so we don't run out of durability on it. We're going to go for... Uh, yeah, level 2 bone knife will do. Put that there, and then some arrows. And there we go. So, we're going to spawn in a horde, and we're going to see how it works. For Actually, let's just get a helmet and a light mod for it as well. So, let's get a helmet and a light, and let's also put some torches down, just so that it's better illuminated because otherwise nothing will be visible. There we go, so we'll wear that, and turn it on, put on our god mode and just add some torches to the whole proceeding so that it's easier to see what's sort of going on a bit. There we go, the torches are 100% just for the fact that I'm recording this. They're not necessary, they don't add anything to it whatsoever. So, set time, I think I'm set to five day hordes. So let's try it on day 15. This is really basic weapons and we're trying it on the third horde. 2300. So there we go, and turn the zombie AI on. Right, let's see how this goes. Let's test out my little design, shall we?
And there we go. So that was the third horde, because it's set to hordes every five days. That was horde number three. We've done it with a, pipe, a level two pipe pistol and some level three bows with stone arrows, level three primitive bows. That is equipment you can get by the end of the first day. As you can see, our tower that we were stood on has taken basically no damage, none around the sides or the back, and an absolutely minuscule amount at the front. I would probably upgrade these to cobble because these have taken a little bit of damage, especially from me putting a tremendous amount of arrows into the top of this one. But our staircase is fine, sure it's taken a beating but it's still very functional. And again we've got lots of arrows stuck in, so there we go. That is a horde base that you can build on day one, with equipment you can collect on day one that just defeated the day 16 horde. And this character is level something or other, level 26 or something? Level 28. He's not wearing any armor, he's just wearing a coat and a hat. And he's got 12 unspent perks, so he's not even a particularly great character. There we go, so that is my early game horde base. I hope you have enjoyed it, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.